Indy Mogul. Like many great martial artists, Street Fighter comes from humble origins. Beginning as an arcade game in 1987, Street Fighter developed into a worldwide sensation spawning animated movies, comic books, card games, and even a live action feature starring the one and only Jean-Claude Van Damme. But despite all that history, Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li arrives with little fanfare. Who is Chun-Li? She was the first female Street Fighter character, an undercover Interpol agent who covertly enters a fighting tournament to avenge her father's murder. She is also, and perhaps most importantly, ranked fourth on Gamefly's list of hottest chicks ever. In the original Street Fighter movie, she was played by Ming-Na Wen, who later went on to be the voice of another action heroine, Disney's Mulan. In this movie, Chun-Li is played by Kristen Crook, who plays Lana Lang on the CW Smallville. But instead of catching Tom Welling's eye, this time her co-star is... Chris Klein! Hey, when you're drowning, you grab whatever piece of debris you can. This movie is directed by the same guy who directed Doom. Uh-oh. You know, for every video game, the ultimate boss is the room full of Hollywood suits who bring the video game to life on the big screen. Hitman, Max Payne, the Resident Evil series, the list goes on and on. Who do you think did the job right? Write your answer down below and I'll see you after the break. This week on WePC TV. In the next couple of weeks, WePC TV is going to be launching a new show, Hacking Hollywood. It's the show that answers the question, how did they do that? Could they even do that? I mean, really. Ray guns. I think you mean lasers, gentlemen. WePC TV is brought to you by ASUS and Intel. You dream it, ASUS builds it, Intel inside. It's a bomb. You're watching Indie Mobile. What did you think of the movie? It was just plain bad. It was good. Uh, it's better than Silent Hill. It's pretty good. You don't have to be a hardcore fan of the game to watch it. I mean, there's nothing new about this. It's pretty predictable stuff, but still, it was at least decent. We went through that last Street Fighter movie back in, I think, 95, but yeah. this one was just... It, it could have been better, but it was just worse. Why, why would they do that? It faded from what Street Fighter really was. It was more of a action gun movie. If it's called Street Fighter, why the gunfights? I mean, really? I, I mean, every time I play Street Fighter, I'm uppercutting somebody, but I'm not shooting them with a handgun. You like the action sequences? They were good. Uh, it's not like uh, Red Belt, where the fighting looked real. But this was alright. Since most of the fights were like in the dark, you could hardly see anything. Secondly, they were pretty sure then they weren't really that entertaining. The acting was kind of bad, especially from Chris Klein. He can, it was bad. His part was bad. He looked like a poor man's Nicolas Cage. How was Kristen Crook, uh, who played Chun Li? Uh, sexy. She's good. She's less annoying here than she is on. She was on Smallville. You ever play Street Fighter? Yeah. All three games. Is Chun-Li your character of choice ever? No, right, you actually is my character. To be honest, I actually like, uh, it seemed like me and everybody in the theater I was in, we liked the last like two minutes when it came up with the uh, concept of having a Street Fighter tournament and going to get Ryu. I, I got excited at the end of the movie. Like oh, the, my first time I was excited the whole movie. <laughs> Did you see the sequel? If, it's, if Chris Klein is now there, and if the fighting is better, yeah, I'll see the sequel. Convince America that this movie is worth seeing, because it ain't looking good for them. <laughs> I would say if you're a fan of Street Fighter, it's definitely worth checking out. If you like Street Fighter, avoid! Avoid! Please! What do you give the movie out of 1 to 10? Uh, 7. I'll give it a 6 and a half. Honestly, like 4. 7? About 8 and 9. 1. Ooh! What do you give the movie out of 1 to 10? One. And it seems to be game over for Street Fighter. The Legend of Chun Li's audiences give it a five, but they're going to hit that restart button with a sequel. And Street Fighter: The Legend of Chun Li is the focus of this week's one sentence review challenge. If you've seen the movie, leave your one to ten rating below, as well as a one sentence review. The best one will be featured this Sunday on Movie Math. I'm Grace Randolph, and you've just gone beyond the trailer.